All right, so I'm here with uh, Lorato Lights Out Glamini, and uh, you'll be coming up against uh, Tomoki Komida from Japan, former world champion. How are you feeling about the contest? Hi, Hayden. I'm feeling good, man. I'm, I'm feeling good. Thanks for having me. It's going to be a big fight for me. Another step up in competition yeah. for the boy. Two years in a row now. So I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling comfortable. Yeah, and the uh, big one for you on the road. Um, whenever you go on the road, you're an international boxer. I don't even know why I'm saying this. Like, you know, you, you know your standard. We saw that in the last fight when you, you know, fought a guy that wasn't on your level. You just swept him aside. Uh, when it comes to this guy from Japan, it's a little bit of a hard contest. Yeah, it is. It's, it's going to be a hard fight. He's a former world champion, you know. So from, he's, a, he's, a, he's a veteran. He has 43 fights, you know, 42 wins. Three losses, former WBO Bantamweight champion, former uh, junior feather WBC interim champion. So this is a massive step up for me, but you know, the better the position, the better I perform. Yeah, I was about to say, I like him a lot too. I know, know Penaloza wasn't a world champion, but he was getting a lot of like credits. He was an undefeated fighter, so you were definitely the underdog there. So you've been in this position before. I mean, how do you deal with it again? I mean, I love being the underdog, you know. Or like most of my fights, I've been an underdog. When every time when when I step up, I've been an underdog, and uh, and I perform better when my back is against the wall. So I'm gonna win, man. Most def. A new country to fit your list as well, Japan. I mean, that's a it's a prestigious uh, thing because as well, Japanese boxers, very very good boxers as a nation. Uh, they got a lot of world champions that they produced over the years. Yeah, man. Like it's a good country, you know. A good country that has a boxing tradition, you know, a people that said love boxing. They they even fight on weekdays, you know, and then the venues would be packed. So it's gonna be a wonderful experience for me. Yeah, and uh, the news just got announced now and obviously you've just done the contracts and you're getting clearance and everything like that now. But I mean how's your excitement levels? Because this is I, I know that you probably knew that this was coming but now it's officially signed. I mean I'm feeling happy man. <laughs> Feeling happy, you know, like this is my second international fight, you know, two years in a row since, you know, last year was the UK, this time is Japan, you know, so it just shows you that the fight from the UK opened so many doors for me, you know, because even this one, we also had an offer before this one, you know, but then uh, there's a story for another day, you know what I mean, but it just shows you that my performance in the UK opened so many doors, you know, and, uh, and like just shows you at the level that I'm at, you know. Yeah, so we're not doing a deja vu from last year. We're not yeah. uh, having a repeat of a five-week um, training camp. You're getting a full, so this will be the best version of you. It, most definitely, like, no excuses. Yeah. No excuses, like, there's no fight in between, you know. This is full eight weeks camp, you know, focusing on, the, on this fight only. Like, this is going to be the best version of me, not, not mm -hmm. like a better version from the UK fight. This is going to be a, a way, yes, bro, this is going to be a different version of, of that's out, man, you will see. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned before as well, like, you're stepping up when the competition is high. I mean, like, you managed, as I said before, to drop Penaloza twice. Um, although, I know a win is a win, and, uh, but, but a great performance you'll have to put in uh, to, in order to get your hand raised, yeah. Most definitely, man, you know, it's like I have to be on my A game for this one, you know, like focused. Uh, it's not just about the physical side, but also mentally, you know what I mean? I have to be mentally fit, so I'm pushing myself mentally on this camp. Like sometimes I feel like I want to do 10 Ks and then I will just do two more because I just want to push my mind to that. Like let me just push myself and just see how it goes. Yeah. Now I know... You, you know, speaking about mentally pushing in, you you were so close to the WBC situation. You were highly rated. I think you're number two in the WBC. You're now in the top ten of the IBF again, so you're regaining momentum in the sort of the world sanctioning bodies. Uh, this fight will take you very close to the IBF world title. Most definitely, it will. Most definitely, will because Kamel, I think, uh, on the IBF ratings, on the junior fairly, was number five. So now that he d he's moving up, he's maybe going to be in the top 10 as well, you know. So a win over him, I mean, it's going to push me maybe number two or number three because the number two spot is vacant, you know. So, oh man, this is a big fight for me, man. So I need to be, I need to be 100 on this one. Yeah, I'm sure you will be because, I mean, you, you know your body and it's like, uh, I think it's like five weeks out now, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe less. Nah, it's... It's four weeks out now. Four weeks out. Yeah, it's yeah. four weeks out. So, seventh, right? yeah, yeah, it's four weeks out. So we got three more weeks of 
of training and the body is feeling good like the weight you know like it's coming down nicely can't complain about it you know i'm i'm still eating drinking water you know not dehydrating myself i'm just feeling good man for this fight i think this fight came at the right time and this is where the real the real get back begins man hashtag the get back, the get back. i mean uh, lorato uh, your your career 19 wins two losses i mean it's actually it's a crazy run because you're on a 19 fight win streak and then obviously the oh sorry you are 18 and two sorry you're on an 18 fight win streak because and then you got now you have to regather the momentum again because you're on such a good yeah. path uh, yeah. do, do you feel that you were like uh, thrown off the tracks or do you feel like the Jazza Dickens fight was just simply like you know just a hurdle I mean the Jazza Dickens fight you know I don't I don't regret taking that fight in space of like after after coming from the Makufa fight I don't regret it but one thing that you know that happened was that you know uh, that that fight it was against a guy that was in the top 10 you know world class you know what I mean so I also needed to test myself against that kind of opposition, you know. So, and that's what happened. I tested myself and then I showed that, you know what, this is where I belong, you know. And of course, like, the winning streak came to an end. But now it's all about the get back. Hashtag the get back. The get back, you know, like, get back to being the top five in the world. Get back to being a number like uh, getting world title opportunities, world title el 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 eliminators. So this is the real, real, real get back now. Yeah. Right, so I'm not going to ask you about the, the world champions just yet, because I know this is the option, so you got to get through this one, but there, there is big fights in the future. And obviously, uh, we saw Lopez uh, uh, winning, and he's the champion. So I think uh, you, you also look to that. But I think you want to focus here first, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, for now, I've been looking at Lopez ever since, you know, he's been a champion. I mean, like, you have to look at those world champions and then also manifest your, you, like, fighting against those top guys, you know, and performing well, you know. So I've been looking at, at Lopez. He's fighting now on the 15th, which is when? Next week? Yeah, next... Yeah, yeah, yeah he's fighting next week too. So I've been looking at that, man. And, uh, I mean, just have to wait and see what the future holds. But for now, focusing on this fight, man. On Komeda, yeah. And you're a natural featherweight. Um, he, your your current opponent is coming up. To, uh, he's he's moved from bantamweight to super bantamweight now to featherweight. Size advantage? Do you think that'll be in your favor? Of course, of course it will be because I've been fighting as featherweight for like eight years now. So my body like is used to that. You know, I have fought natural featherweights. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So like I'm gonna be the big guy. You know. And he would be the guy that's coming up, you know. So this is his first fight at featherweight. So we'll just have to see what he brings. But uh, I don't think, like, power-wise, it's going to give me any problems. And, of course, uh, in South Africa, we're getting into the warmer seasons now. So the runs are starting to become a little bit more bearable. I know you get up really early in the morning to go run. So you must be feeling the difference already in terms of the temperature. Yeah, man, I have, hey, I have shame. Like now, three a.m. is coming. Like the temperatures are, are like twelve degrees, yeah. and like in winter they be like mi minus four, <laughs> you know, minus seven. So now, yeah, it's uh, it's getting better, and like I'm loving it because also now the weight does drops, you know, drops quickly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we are a month out. Obviously, you still got to go do your training, and uh, you've been in camp already. But I mean, now you got to put in like the official fight training they say um give us a prediction this fight man i'm not gonna lie to you or say what you know japanese fighters are really 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 tough and komeda he's really 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 tough he's never been stopped you know he's never been stopped so i'm looking for a decision decision win but clinical yeah, yeah you know a clinical performance for me and a clear decision win for me yeah all right perfect and uh do you have a message for your point i don't think he understands english <laughs> if he did <laughs> this is true yeah. all right so let me just say hey commander i hope that you're ready i hope that you had a nice training camp and i will see you and i will see you on the 7th of october yes sir Perfect, fantastic news for you and obviously going back overseas again, uh, all the fans will have to tune in and watch you do your thing. Uh, do you have any thank yous, any shout outs? Yeah man, so now, you know man, the usual, my sponsors, so man, as you pass, 
Everybody go and get extra pairs, man. Stop asking it for free from from me. Go and get extra pairs, bro. Like the show so much love. Extra pairs, haze, salitos, VIP liquors, you know, and also my dear brother, Mr. Sam in Glovo, and his beautiful wife, Mr. Dean Glovo, and my mom. Flip everybody back home and reaching for me and supporting me. We here now. It's time to get back to winning wins. The real get back. Hashtag the real get back starts right now. Yeah. We're gonna get on that hashtag. <laughs>